guys, it's your boy Talamaster J here, and I am back with a new piece of content, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I haven't really been doing a lot of videos recently, and I do apologize for that. I've been, you know, doing some stuff behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen, of, uh, you know, getting ready for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There's going to be a video coming up on the channel about some stuff that's on the website itself. You guys know I don't really try to cover any leaks or any spoilers or stuff like that, because I'm trying to get into those games as uh, spoiler-free as I can. Um... But you guys know me as a competitive Pokemon player, and uh, you guys saw all my videos for the YCL. But I was in a bunch of those leagues, ladies and gentlemen. I was in the YCL, the main league. I was in the owner of the YCL Wi-Fi, a temporary owner. Could potentially be a co-owner, could potentially be a commissioner next season. We don't know yet. I'm just grateful to every person in the YCL for that. But in between doing the YCL Wi-Fi... The YCL Showdown Division needed a replacement coach. So, I filled in for the, uh, I think it was the Charlotte Chandelures, I think, uh, or, or Charlotte Corviknights. One, one of the two, I think, was the one that I filled in for. I forget which one off the top of my head. Uh, it's been, you know, a couple of weeks now. Um, but I wanted to share this video with you guys because I wanted you guys to see this battle that I did against my... He was actually my Wi-Fi commissioner, one of my two, just Sosa and his Los Angeles Infernapes. Sosa's a really good battler, ladies and gentlemen, and in all fairness, when, when it came to this battle, I was scared uh, based on his team because his team involved a Greninja, it involved uh, the Don fan, it has Mega Mawile, and from what I've learned, Mega Mawile is probably the most OP Mega Evolution of all time uh, because huge power... Gives it a base 210 attack stat, and it can just wreak havoc. But he also had a Volcarona, and as you can see, I've got a Metagross. I've got a Rillaboom. I mean, it gets grass coverage, but it doesn't really want to take a Diancie hit. Um, but his team was really scary, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just say it's strap. And he also had Hoopa Unbound, too. He had Hoopa Unbound, uh, which I've, ne I've honestly never battled before. I think I had him once. Um... And just, you know, get the prison ball or whatnot. But I wanted you guys to watch this battle with me. So I'm going to put it at a slow pace so, you know, I can kind of, like, talk over what I thought in certain plays. So we're going to start playing this battle right now. And before we... Oh, I should have said this beforehand. If you like this kind of content because it's a Pokemon Showdown battle, leave a like on the video below. Let's get to 200 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. We are 11 away from 200. Let's see if we can break that number by November 18th, ladies and gentlemen. And also, there will be an announcement at the end of the video. So let's get into the battle, ladies and gentlemen. So you're going to see, and I told him that, you know, I put the stats live on the draft league side. He led with Don Fan, and I led with Diancie. Now, at first glance, I thought his lead was going to be like, you know, uh, Rotom or something like that. Or even Volcarona, try to get a Quiver Dance off. So, and I also looked it up. Diancie really... Despite it being a Mega, it cannot take a Don Fan's Earthquake. I also learned that last week when I battled, um, or, was, or was it two weeks ago? I forget which one, but I tried Diancie and it got just absolutely ransacked by an Earthquake, despite its Mega Evolution. Uh, but I switched out into Rillaboom because the Grassy Surge predicting the Earthquake, which is what he does. He does an Earthquake, so... It takes less damage due to the uh, grassy terrain. Now, he goes into Volcarona here, and I go for a U-turn because I had a feeling he'd go into Volcarona here. This is what shocked me. The Rocky Helmet. I didn't see a Rocky Helmet coming on the Volcarona at all, but I get the mindset. Get in the Rocky Helmet ship off there. So I go back on in Diancy to get, you know, try to bait out his Pokemon. He goes into Deoxys Defense. Pressure, I forget about that ability a lot, but I went for the Mega Evolution on turn 3. Went for Diamond Storm, did 41%. I'm pretty sure that was like a max roll, if I'm not mistaken. And it was also Leftovers. Uh, I get the Moon Blast off, and he goes for Iron Defense. Now, I'm going to say it right now. Iron Defense is what scared me the most. I thought... When I, when I saw Iron Defense come out, I was like, oh my god, I'm screwed. I am screwed on this Deoxys, because as you can see, physical, 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 somewhat physical, kind of special, physical, special, and 
we'll get into the rest of it now. He gets more of the, you know, I basically gave him free passive recovery. But I go into Sovali. Now, I was bugged Sovali uh, because, like I said, he had the Deoxys, he has the Appleton, he's got the Greninja, and he had the Hoopa Unbound. Bug Savali had the best matchup here. Uh, also, I just gotta make a shout out real quick in this video to YCL Champion Badass Frostlass. Frostlass, if you see this, way to go YCL Champ, even though it was from a previous season. And as you can see, the Grassy Terrain ended the battle, and he goes back on the Volcron. Now here, I went for multi-attack. Thankfully, I did not get burned. Now, Here's the other thing. You see here, base 328 speed on this Volcarona. That's its max at a, with a speed boost in nature. I'm 317. I know I'm 317 because I won job. I was literally thinking in this mindset right here that he was going to go for a quiver dance expecting a switch. And I just said, you know what? I'm going to go for broke here. And I clicked rock slide and miraculously... I was faster than his Volcarona. So I got rid of a threat right off the rip. So Sovali was good. Rillaboom was safe. Diancie for a little bit is safe. And Metagross definitely safe. And then he brings in Mawile to get his Intimidate off. Because that's what Mawile does. And Mega Evolved. And I go for Parting Shot here. Because I'm trying to mitigate as much damage as I can on him. And I go into Metagross because... I figured he was going to go for, like, you know, a knockoff or uh, something like that. Maybe a sucker punch. He goes for Rotom, and because I have Earthquake, he's immune to Levitate. Uh, so I had to switch out into Zerkatry. He goes for Will-O-Wisp here. I wanted to go Diancie there, but I was like, eh, not really. So I went with Zerkatry instead. He goes for Volt Switch, gets a crit, unfortunately. And then he goes into Appleton here. But I had a feeling on that... After, you know, clicking Energy Ball. So in, so what I did here was, I actually risked it, and I switched into Rillaboom. Because uh, I thought he maybe had, like, Leech or something like that. Instead, he goes for Bulldoze, of all things. So, that all, and also, you gotta remember, Bulldoze loses half health, or half power in Grassy Terrain. I, I've kind of forgotten about that, but I did remember it. Um... But then I go for the U-turn to get more pivot out, more pivot chip. Go into Savali Bug again. And he goes for Bulldoze again. So, uh, the fact that, I mean, I questioned the Bulldoze strategy at first, but I kind of understood where he was coming from. He goes into Rotom again, and I go for Parting Shot, get in uh, Rillaboom again, because I figured that was the main thing. Now, I am Scarf Rillaboom. I should have mentioned that. So... He was in a mall while I had a feeling on that, so I went for high horsepower. That was a brilliant play that I had on him. And because he realized now that I'm faster, he went back out into Rotom because, you know, I'm locked in a high horsepower, levitate, prevents it, so I had to switch out Rillaboom, unfortunately. So I go into Diancie, try to get the magic bounce on Willow Wisp. I get the magic bounce, but it missed. I didn't even know Magic Bounce could miss, which is funny. Uh, he goes back on Deoxys again, and I go for Mystical Fire because I figured, you know, just lower Rotom's uh, special attack a little bit. Uh, I go back on the Zerkatry here because it's really my main special attacker. He keeps going for the Iron Defense, and right here I'm thinking, okay, if he has Body Press, just get to plus six and he's going to ruin me. Um... Uh, but he doesn't have Iron... Well, I mean, he's got Knockoff, so he knocks off my Expert Belt. Revealed that I was Expert Belt on Zerkatry. And it's, and I just go for Magnet Rise on this, because I knew he was going to recover on this turn. So I didn't want to risk any more damage. Um, so I just said, you know, screw it. I'm going to sack off Zerkatry here. Everybody didn't have a good matchup anymore. And he goes for the Iron Defense one more time. So Rotom picked up a KO here on Zerkatry indirectly because of burn damage. And I go back out into Rillaboom. And I knock off his leftover. So his only passive recovery now would be either Recover or the Grassy Terrain. And he realized that I'm Choice Scarf. So we both knocked off our, our items on this turn. But it allowed me to U-turn and get into Zygarde here. Which is what I did. Um, 
And Zygarde, I, I had a very unique strategy, but I needed to Dragon Dance a bunch of times on it before I even decided on doing it. He reveals, you know, my Yachiberry because I was afraid of the Greninja. I, I actually prepped this Zygarde with enough HP and special defense with a Yachiberry to take a one specs Greninja Ice Beam. Because in this league, Protein is not a thing, so it doesn't do much. And also, I'm surprised that Greninja only did, I think it was 77% on something that's so sad. I watched one of his previous battles, and it did like 77% with specs. I was like, it only did that little, which was really shocking. Um, but I keep going for the Dragon Dances here. And he goes for Nightshade. So he revealed his fourth move, which is Nightshade. And I found this out later. Because Deoxys is not in Sword and Shield, it does not get Body Press. Thank God it did not get Body Press. Um, but, you know, assuming the passive recovery, I keep going for Dragon Dances here because you're going to see in a, in a little bit here what my strategy is. Because I'm taking down his health here, and I get up to, you know, plus four in a regular thing. He goes to plus six on defense. I go for one more Dragon Dance here, and then let me show you the strategy. So I'm at 35%. I go for Pain Split here. So he is going to keep doing Nightshade damage to me, which is going to do 100 HP every time. I just keep Pain Split. I get that health back. And now he's got a choice. He's going to have to either Nightshade or Recover. So that's what I do. I keep on night. I keep on doing all uh, the Pain Split. I keep getting the health back. But instead I go for 1,000 arrows there. So I did Pain Split three times to get as much health down. I whittled it at plus 5 to a plus 6. I did 21%, which I think was a max roll if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, but by him doing that, he knocked me out. I basically baited him into a, into a situation. Does he recover? Or does he go for the KO? He picked the KO. And now I'm racking my brain. Like, Rillaboom at plus six, it's not going to do anything to it. Savali, it's not going to do anything to it. Metagross, it's not going to do anything to it. My only choice is Diancy. Moonblast is the only move I have that can knock it out. So, I go for Moonblast here. And I get the KO. I take out his wall. Which is miraculous. He goes back out to Appleton here, and I just switch into Rillaboom here. Which, in all fairness, I probably could have gone away with without doing that. Uh, but I was very scared of, like, a Leech Seed or something like that, so... Um, and so I go for a U-turn here, I go into Sovali here, because I try to get Sovali some, some love here. And he gets the Apple Acid... Which is, which is a fun move. I'll, I'll, I won't deny it. It's a fun move. Um, but he goes back onto Rotom here. And I go for multi-attack. Doesn't do much. Because of the bug on Ghost type. I go into Diancy again. And he went for Volt Switch. Which is unfortunate for me. But he goes back onto Appleton. And now... I say, I'm taking out this Appleton here. I'm going to use Moonblast. And I take out the Appleton, which is great. Now, he's got a choice. Does he go Donphan? Does he go Mawile or Rotom? He goes Donphan here. And I go back on the Rotom because I do not want to take an Earthquake. At least without, you know, resist. Or half power. Uh, but Rillaboom comes back out. And you see I use U-Turn. I break Sturdy. That was the important thing. As I go back out on Savali here, he sets up rocks, which is, you know, unfortunate. I mean, I could have gone into Diancy there, but I really didn't want to risk it. I go for the parting shot. I go back out into Rillaboom here. I'll take the rocks chip, which is fine. And he goes for Earthquake again. But now he's lowered attack, which is great. And now I reveal my final move after he ice shards me, which is drum beating. I decided to go drum beating this time around instead of going like grassy glide. 
Because I wanted to do speed control myself. I wanted to slow down like Volcarona or slow down Greninja or uh, Scarf Hoopa Unbound or something like that. As he goes in a mall while here. Now, I did not think of this at first, but Diancy, Mawile, I'm faster no matter what. So, the fun thing here is he can't knock me out. Mystical Fire takes out the Mawile here. The Don Fan's low on health. Rotom comes out. He goes for Volt Switch, but I just click, uh, I believe I clicked Diamond Storm here. I did. I get... You know, damage, but I get the defense boost. And I just click Moon Blast here. I take out the Dawn Fan. And the Rotom comes out here. And I just use Moon Blast one more time. After you try to, you know, hex me. So I saw the strategy Will O Wisp and Hex. Moon Blast comes out. And we take a 4 0 win over our Commissioner Sosa and the Los Angeles Infernapes. And in all fairness, Diancie, who was the king of this battle, taking out the Appleton, taking out the Mawile, taking out the Rotom, taking out the Donphan, and taking out the Deoxys. All five of those kills were huge for Diancie. Meanwhile, Sovali being faster than Volcarona taking out the uh, Volcarona is also big because I was scared as hell about it. But... Honestly, that pain switch strategy, that was one of that, that was one that pain switch was a last ditch move. I was like, eh, what the hell? Let me just throw it on there. It might it might be fun, who knows? Uh, but thankfully it worked because it got Deoxys into such low of range that I was able to do reasonable levels of damage to guys. But that is actually the end of this battle, ladies and gentlemen. I do want to thank you very much for all of your support on this video. I honestly do not know how it's going to do but the announcement at the end of the video ladies and gentlemen is very simple tomorrow and up until the pokemon scarlet and violet on twitch.tv slash talentmasterj i will be live streaming sonic frontiers every single day so let's explore those games together you me joining the chat let's have some fun ladies and gentlemen i'm going to take it to the skies i hope you guys do as well and let's just keep on having a good time, ladies and gentlemen, because we are right there. See you all next time.